Hey guys, now in today's video, we're taking a look at a portable storage solution that is going to be super fast and actually can serve as an external drive for many of your devices, especially now with the iPhone and the iPad supporting external devices. This becomes a valuable tool for those of you who have those devices. Now, if you're using an Android device, Windows device, guess what? You've always had these capabilities, so it's good too. Today, we're taking a look at the Zyke USB 4 NVMe SSD enclosure. Now, this is an enclosure that when you add an NVMe drive, just makes it super powerful with all the storage that you have. And it's also something that is fast and it includes its own cable built into the case and also uh, an extra one. So, Let's go ahead and check it out. Now the specs on this device are pretty impressive. Check this out. You're looking at 3.8 gigabytes max read speed, USB 4. We have also 3.1 gigabits max write speed and it supports PCIe Gen 4x4. As we take a look at the drive, you basically have a real nice uh, uh, cable. Uh, this is gonna be a high speed cable for you. And then you also have one built in. Uh, you'll notice right here you have your USB-C cable. On this side right here, you have the built-in one, and then you have your actual drive itself. I'm going to open this up so you can see what's going on here. So this is an NVMe drive that I've already installed. Super easy to install. No screwdriver required. Everything is just almost literally plug and play. Plug it in. You have this little button right here that you just insert. It locks into place. And then what you also have is with you uh, a very small travel cable that is gonna be also high speed for data movement. So uh, obviously you're not gonna have the drive open, you know, as, as I have it right here. I'll go ahead and close this back up. But what I like about it is how portable it is. Now closing this drive is pretty simple. You'll notice that it has some hooks right here that slide into the back and then you push in and it'll snap into place just like this, nothing else to do here. And when you're gonna connect it to your PC or your any device, what you'll do is just uh, place it into the drive and then attach it. Now. Again, if you are using an iPhone and don't have a lot of capacity and you want to offload things, you can, especially with the new iPhones and the latest operating system, you can take uh, content and put it on a drive like this. You could even uh, run content directly from a drive like this. If you're using an Android device, it's just connect. And then it, once again, if you're using a Windows PC or even a MacBook Pro, all you have to do is connect it and you'll gain access to the drive. So I've connected it to my iPad as an example, especially if you're looking to extend the storage that you have on your device. And I do a lot of video editing on my iPad. So here I have my iPad and I have the drive over here to the side. I'm gonna go into the folder area and the T7 is what this drive is named as. And I have several videos in here. And what I wanna show you is how quickly the actual drive response to just loading content. Now, this is gonna be true for saving content, for, again, um, retrieving content. We're just gonna see what that performance looks like. So I have everything connected, and I'm just gonna open this, and I want you to see how quickly it starts to load. So you saw how fast that was, right? And you're gonna see me scrub right through this. And we'll see how well they perform and see if they actually pass our test. So let's get right to it. You saw how fast that was. That's what we're talking about. Uh, and if you were going to be transferring um, some content, you'd be able to use this as well if you're copying stuff from one device to another. Now, let me show you how fast this drive is going to respond. Now, while these files aren't ginormous in size, what we're going to do is we're going to select several of them so that we can see how this works. I'm going to go ahead and select a whole bunch of these files. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just choose copy. And I'm gonna go into this drive and I'm just gonna go into this directory right here and I'm gonna paste them. So I'm gonna now choose paste and watch how this comes across. That was fast. Now, again, larger files, one gig, two gig, 10 gig, or in my case where I'm operating with files, as you can see here, 1.39 gig, you can copy them as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this file, this is 1.39, gig, I'm going to hit copy. So what I'm going to do is choose this and then I'm going to choose paste and we're going to see how fast, well, that was going really fast, how fast this file comes across. So as you can see, that file was almost lightning fast as it came across and that was 1.39 gig. That's how fast this drive is. Now, since that was so fast, we're going to do one more. I'm going to go ahead into this directory. I'm going to choose a file that may be a little bit larger. Let's see if we have anything that's a little bit bigger than that. Um, it's almost the same size. So we're going to do, look at this one right here. We're going to do a copy of this one. We're going to go into our uh, downloads directory. I'm going to go in here, and we're going to then do the same thing. I want you to watch how fast this is. Let's go ahead and tap here and hold it. 
I'm going to dip paste. Watch it. One, two, three. And it didn't even get to three because it's already there, right? If I tap it, this is an overhead shot. And, you know, I can obviously I can scrub really quick because this is already on this machine, but it is super fast. Definitely something that what I like about it is that it's completely expandable. You can get any kind of NDME of the size that you'd like, and you'd be able to get this crazy performance. So guys, that wraps up our review. See you in the next video.